Jeannie from listentoyourfreedom.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use a free audio editing software called Audacity. I'm going to show you how I import a file, basic editing, how to export it. For downloading and giving away um, audios, you need to have it in MP3 file format because it's more compatible and it's also a much smaller file, but it will still retain the audio consistency. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. So we're in Audacity. We go to File. Let's import an audio. So I go to my desktop and I choose an audio. See here I've got one that's in MP3 or you could import one in WAV. Um, it would say .wav here at the end. And I click Open and this shows that it's importing it and there it is. Now you can click on this magnifying plus sign button here to, to zoom in because with it so small it's really hard to separate the different words. So let me give you an example. So if I put my cursor here and um, I press play and I just have to hit my spacebar to play it or I could use the buttons up here if I wanted. Because um You've brainstormed your talk. So here you can see there was quite a pause. Now what if I wanted to shorten that? Or what if um, this part here was not me talking, but it was my kid screaming, Mom, and I need to edit that out. Or maybe I have a whole idea here that I think, oh, you know what? This whole part here, I don't like it. Do you see how I just drag that to highlight it? And then I can just, I can either use this to cut it, or I can just hit delete. Gone. Maybe I just say, well, this pause here is too long. So I grab this, and I want to just take out a little snip. Delete. Gone. Okay? So that's just your basic ways. Now let's say I say, well, this part over here, and I, and I put my cursor and I play it to make sure. How to choose your best business idea. Okay, now if I go, oh, that's really great. That went from here, and I can see exactly where that is. If I come down here to where it says selection start, 9.256 seconds. And I go, okay, well, I think it ends here at 13.897 seconds. So I just want to replay that bit to see if that's where it ends. Because, uh and yes, it is. So I want to find that again. 13.897. Now, if I was doing this for real, I would actually write these numbers down. And then let's say I was one off here. Well, to, to kind of click around might take a while and it might make me jump too far. So use the arrow keys on your keyboard. See? That just moves it a, a smidge at a time and you can get it more. Now, let's say that I go, well, that's really tight. Well, just zoom in. Oh, look how much bigger that looks. Now it's really easy for me to position that cursor exactly where I want it. And then here, and I go, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go from there to, and I'm looking down at my end numbers. There, I'm at 13.857. I release my cursor, you see down here? I'm back where I needed to be. Now, what I can do is I say, well, I want that at the beginning, because I didn't do such a good introduction. I go up here and I click copy, okay? And then I scroll back to the beginning, okay? So here's my beginning. Hi, this is Jeannie Patel Thompson from listentoyourfreedom.com. Okay, so let's say I wanna place it here before I even start. So my cursor's there already, and I go up and I click the paste. Boom, let's put it in there. So now, this is how I'm gonna start. And see, this is a good example. I, there's, look at this. That's a lot of dead air. How to choose your best business idea. Hi, this is Jeannie Patel Thompson. Okay, so if I go, well, that's a little bit too much. I don't need that much. Highlight, cut. Okay, so now let's say I'm happy with this file here. So when it goes to export, I'm, I'm finished editing this file, and now I want to export it. And the format, I'm, I have a whole list of formats. You can export as WAV all these other things I don't even know what they are the only two file formats I ever use are mp3 or wave and wave tends to be a larger size file with a better audio quality 
So if you were working with music, you absolutely would want to use WAV, but for audio, I've never had a MP3 is perfectly awesome. So click MP3 file. That's my um, file idea. And the reason I have hyphens in here is when people go to download a link, you cannot have any spaces in your title or it won't download properly. So you should either use a hyphen or an underscore that looks like this to link your words. Okay, so I just prefer hyphen because I find that easier to read. And if it's on a web page, if you have an underscore and then it's hyperlinked, I remember when you hyperlink something, it automatically puts a solid line through it. So you can't actually see that it's underscored. So I prefer to use hyphens. So then I save it as MP3 file to my desktop. And you can see that that's what I it already was called before. So yeah, I'm going to overwrite that. I filled in the artist name, the track title, save it. Shows that it's exporting it. And then here it is. Choose your best idea. So we're going to import a WAV file this time. So it is still an audio. And here it is. I've got a Bruce Lipton WAV file here. So Okay, so now as you can see, this is really comp this is visually very compressed together. There, it just plays programs, and then the other thing is very. See, it's playing. It doesn't even seem to be moving because. So I need to expand my view of it. I need to zoom in, and look what happens to the voice. See, now this is where I like to work when I can see the spaces between the words. Okay, because that's how I can hear what's going on. There's nobody in there. It just plays programs. Okay. So now let's say I am going to edit this as I've already showed you how to do and I'm ready to export it. I go over to file and I hit export. Now let's say well I don't want it as a wave because you know I could export it as a wave but I don't want it as a wave because a wave creates quite a large file. I want it as an mp3. So remember what I said about don't have spaces in any of your file names, whether they're audio files or PDFs or eBooks, always put a hyphen or an underscore in so that there's no problem. If, if there's spaces, it can break the link when it's downloading. It, it makes your downloads glitchy and then you'll have all your customer service complaints. I couldn't download the file, it didn't work, and really it's just that you had spaces in your naming. So, author name, this is Bruce Lipton, interview. All right, okay. Sometimes you have to click that twice. I have no idea why. But this is the thing with computers. There's always buggy stuff. You can take it personally. Don't get frustrated. It is what it is. Just keep clicking, restart, reboot. <laughs> you know, eventually you figure it out or it sorts itself out. Okay, so let's go to my desktop, which is where I exported it to. Bruce Lipton. Okay, MP3 audio. And here was the original. Now you look, this was in a WAV file, we'll call, they call that waveform audio, but you can see the bottom of the files, the extension is .wav, .wav file. Look at the size of this, 116.4 megabytes. This is exactly the same file, it'll have exactly the same quality, it's only 29.1 megabytes. So when you're sending files for your people that they're going to play on their um, iPod or download to their computer, do you want to take up 29 megabytes of space or do you want to take up 116? So that's why it's really important to always convert to a file format that's user friendly and is going to make people want to have more of your stuff um, and be able to keep your stuff on their iPod or their computer without having to delete it because you have, um, you know, overloaded them. Now let's say this MP3 at 29 megabytes, you were like, wow, that's still too big. I need to make that smaller. Well, there is a way that you can do that. And it can be done within iTunes if you have an Apple Mac.